Hi everybody, I'm JJ and it's a nice day so I decided to go get food at the store because I ran out of food at home. It's a nice day with good weather to go shopping. Just around the corner of this house is one of my favorite grocery stores. Look at that huge sign and the great selection of different products. The best choice in the whole city. Good day, JJ is always happy to see a favorite customer. Have a nice day. You're just in time. Today we have a special offer. For just a small amount of emeralds, you can get a whole bunch of different foods within reason. Wow, a feast of unprecedented bounty. I just picked up a small amount of these emeralds. I need some different meats and vegetables for my meals for tonight. Well, of course, we'll have some fish, meat, and vegetables for you. And a special gift for the best vendor in this town. A big, sweet, and delicious cake that I made the other day because I wanted to make you happy. And you didn't get bored with that tedious job. Wow, I've never gotten such a great gift at this boring job, and it's delicious. This is the best day of my life. Wait a second, I'll get your order. I can't believe I got a cake. Wow, just like that, you can make someone's day so much better. I think making others happy is a good thing, and someday they can do something good for me. And here, I've got the best produce we've ever had. Fish, chicken, apples, and a bunch of other stuff. Wow, how much I was able to get thanks to this wonderful promotion where they gave me a whole bunch of products for my meals. Thank you so much for this delicious cake that I can't wait to try. Good luck and bye. So I got what I came for, and now I'm going home. I'm just a little while away from my big and beautiful house that I recently moved into, and of course I've decided to do some gardening to spruce up my home, but so far everything is just growing. I'm finally home. It's so nice to be in such a cozy place. I have to put the food in the fridge or it will spoil and I won't have anything to cook with. Here, here, and here. Now this food will be safe and won't rot. After such a long walk outside, I have to wash my hands because there are a lot of bacteria that can get on my hands and make me sick. That's how after a hard day like this, it's worth taking a break and watching the news. Breaking news, there's a hurricane of small fire tornadoes coming in the middle of the day. Be careful. Oh no, if a tornado like that came through my house, it would not only rip out my garden, it would set the roof on fire. I'd better see what's going on outside my window. Oh my God, the whole valley's flooded with lava and how am I supposed to survive? Wait, the whole village is flooded and even my favorite store with food. Where am I going to buy food? There is nothing left of the village. It's almost completely under the lava. If I don't figure out how to get out of here, I'll be under the lava soon. I just need to figure something out before this lava rises even higher. I must hurry back and see what I have to build at least a boat so I can get away from here. This is the worst thing that could have happened that day. I usually have a small stock of building materials in my house to improve my house, but now I need them for more important things. It's a good thing I've got some planks of cloth and tools. That's all I need to make a boat and try to go where the lava hasn't gotten to or I'll be stuck without food for a long time. I've got to get higher before the lava gets me. Oh no, I forgot about my collection of cool clothes, but now I can only take these materials to build a boat. And if I don't figure out a quicker way to make a whole ship, these materials are all I have now for survival, and I hope they are enough. Of course, I didn't learn how to build a boat, but I don't think it's a hard thing to do in these conditions. It's unbelievable. There's lava all over the place, and there's no end in sight. And the new News just said there was a tornado, so I think I should start before the lava gets to me. I have to lay out, well, I need to start building a boat as soon as possible. One hour later. I have finally built the best boat I can think of. It has sails so that I don't have to row the already viscous lava and float on it somehow. He swallowed up everything in the area, including my beautiful house. But I have to leave now, or I will go down with the house. It's the first time I've ever sailed a boat, and it's hard to row lava. It's incredibly hot, but I've got to get out of here while I s It's so hot and hard. A few moments later. I can't believe that my beautiful and cool boat deteriorated so quickly. And now all that's left of it is a couple boards and sails. Hey, JJ, hurry up and get over here before your boat burns down. We got a whole ship. I'm finally going to get out of this lava madness and be safe. My leftover boat is on fire, but how am I going to get to safety? Wait for JJ. We'll build a bridge to you. Yeah, I'm on my way to save you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right there. Wow, I can't believe I was so lucky to meet them in the middle of a whole ocean of lava and water. More importantly, Importantly, they didn't abandon me and are trying to save me. What good people. I have to try to get out. Come back and wait a little longer, JJ. I'm almost there and we'll go out together. 
Yes, of course, I'm already looking forward to escaping from this hot lava to a safe place. It's hard to jump over such big chasms after I've swum through a whole ocean of lava. It's finally so nice to be safe and alive. Thank you so much for saving me. Look at what my boat's become. I'd go down with it. Yeah, as soon as we found out your town was flooded with lava, we went looking for you, and we were lucky to find you so quickly. The news of the fire tornado surprised us, but we decided to check it out and came to see you. I'm so happy. Yeah, look at us. We're not too far away on this island. Wow, you have an entire island. So what are we waiting for? I'm so tired after a grueling voyage across a vast ocean of lava. Goodbye, my favorite boat. Hopefully in the future, I will build an even bigger and stronger boat. Yeah, I'm so glad we saved you. Oman, Daddy's waiting for us. Come on, let's go home. I can't wait to get some rest and have a proper dinner. I could eat a dozen steaks and get a good night's sleep after this big adventure. Wow, it's a whole tropical island with an incredibly beautiful beach and with marvelous mountains and a big rainforest. Clear skies. You can sunbathe here every day. Yeah, it's a great place, JJ. Your mom spent a lot of time picking out places for us to live. Wow, there's even a waterfall on this island. I've always wanted to see one. JJ, there's a lot more we can show you. Like the rescue tower your father built in case someone needed help. You can climb it and see the view from there. Okay, now I want to get to the top and see everything on this beach. Wow, it's so high up here. You're so small down here, and it's an incredible view of the whole coast. I tried to build the rescue tower as high as possible so you could see the beauty of the island from it. Yeah, we're glad you liked it. Dad knew you'd be interested in something like this. So you live here? That's funny. It's a real fireman's house. It would be cool to live there since my house is gone. We're sure you'll enjoy living with us, JJ. Like you were ready to take me in beforehand. That's just your imagination. We're really cool. All right, come on. Let's go show me your super duper house. You know, you could live with us as our second son. Second son? Do you already have a child of some kind? Yeah, his name is Mikey. You'll definitely make friends with him. Oh, there he is waiting for me. What a freak. There's no need to insult him. You you should be friends with him. Hi, my name's Mikey. Are you my new brother? No, I'm your new daddy. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, your jokes are too stupid. Friends, would you like to live in a family of firefighters? Write about it in the comments. And we're off to settle into our new home. And you can get back to work. Let me give you a tour of our house. We'll start in the hallway. This is where we take off our shoes and welcome our guests. And it's pretty cozy in here. By the way, do you live apart from your parents? Yes, it's much more convenient. By the way, there's an extra bed in here for you. This is where you poop. You, it stinks in here. It's awful. I'm gonna put all my stuff in here. And thank you for sheltering me, Mikey. We're brothers now, JJ. We're supposed to help each other. Okay, come on. I'll show you the main house. You're gonna love it. Okay, I hope you have a whole ton of delicious steaks at home. I also want to drink Coca-Cola. JJ, it's all very unhealthy and unpalatable food. You should eat a lot of greens. Ew, it's not cool to eat greens at all. Let me show you our super cool car. A super cool car? I bet it's something small and cheesy. No, it's a giant fire truck. That's what we use to go to work. Wow, now this is already cool. I'd love to ride something like that. It must be so cool to be a fireman and drive such a cool car. Hey, let me drive. I won't crash anywhere. Maybe. No, JJ, you're too young to drive. Maybe in the future you will become a firefighter too, and you will ride in this car. Okay, let's go to our house. My Mikey promised to give me a tour of your house. We have to ring the doorbell for them to open it for us. Um, don't you have keys to the house? This is kind of strange. <laughs> JJ is so stupid. This is our home. How fun it is to prank JJ. <laughs> oh my god, it was completely offensive. Stop being offended like a little girl. Wow, and your house is much bigger than Mikey's little house. I would live here much cozier, better, and more enjoyable. You still have a lot of food here. By the way, you have fire detectors hanging on your shelf. It's it's so safe. And here we cook the healthiest and most delicious food. We need this to help people extinguish their fires at home. That's all I need. I already want to be a firefighter. Let's go put out the fires. You're too small, JJ. I'll say it again. You need to wait and grow up. Now let me show you my garage again. Yes, JJ, be patient. Being a firefighter is not that easy. Okay, okay. Come show me your garage a second time. Wow, this is the same car that I see for the second time. She's no longer interesting to me at all. What other interesting things do you have in your home? Um, we have a second floor where there are many other rooms. Yes, 
you will definitely like it there. And what might I like there? There is nothing cool or exciting here at all. Wow, as I thought, nothing interesting. The most ordinary second floor. We have a super cool TV here. And what's cool about it? There aren't even cartoons here. There are no colorful or bright clothes in the closet. Because all the clothes are here. We also keep all sorts of cool shoes here. Why do you need this pipe going down? Uh, that's a fire escape right down to the garage. Ah, uh, I don't know how to use it at all. Your pipe is not working at all. This means you will be the worst fireman in the world. Wow. And it's quite nice here. Ha! I would spend my evenings here with a cup of coffee. It's so quiet and safe here. Haven't heard of a lava sea at all. Because we live on a high island. We don't care about such dangers. And why don't you care about this? Because of such dangers, I lost my home. Okay, let's go to your house already. What's in that room? Very interesting. But I think I'll go there a little later. I need to spend enough time coming to terms with my new home. JJ, come here quickly. I'm already tired of waiting here for you. I'm already running, Mikey. Now it seems seems like it's daytime and it's too early for us to sleep. I don't care. You need to sleep. It's impossible to do anything else on the island. Okay, good night then, Mikey. Good night to you too, JJ. I hope the lava doesn't reach us at night. Oh, how hard it is for me to sleep in a new place. It's already deep night outside, but I can't sleep. Ha ha ha. Just look at him. Mikey sleeps so funny, just like his parents. Apparently, I shouldn't talk so loudly here so as not to wake anyone up. I'll take a walk outside to sleep better. This helped me when I lived in my house. How scary it is to be here alone. Friends, aren't you afraid to walk down the street at night? Write about it in the comments. And that strange and forbidden door in that house haunts me. I'm sure sure there's something cool and interesting hidden there that I'm not allowed to see. I think that no one will notice me if I go there for a short time and then quickly go back to my bed. The firefighter family showed me every corner of this house except this door. Perhaps there is a monster locked in a cage there. Um, is this just an ordinary warehouse? A bunch of uninteresting boxes. There is nothing to do here at all. Oh, what else is this? Fire tornado? Turn it on and off? Oh my god, this is the switch for the tornado that destroyed my house. This means that these firefighters deliberately burned down an entire village along with its inhabitants. But why would they do this? I should turn off this scary and destructive tornado so no one else gets hurt. Although you know, friends, I don't feel bad for the firefighters. After all, now I have a cool home and a loving family. The next day. I have a date with an amazing girl tonight. I hope you are happy for me. I'm outside her house right now. I've been here once before in our previous videos. Hey, my lady, open the door. Hey, 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 it's JJ. Oh, I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, hey, JJ. Hi. Long time no see. What brings you here? Yeah, nice weather today, huh? Uh, yeah, the weather looks good. Why don't we go for a walk? You don't want to stay home on a beautiful day like this, do you? Oh, you're a persuasive man, JJ. Uh. Let's go. Cool. I've got a couple of ideas where we could go. Oh, that sounds great. Let's go. A what? Wow, a trip on a huge cruise ship. Wow. And for only 30 diamonds. Speaker woman, look at this great offer. Hmm. How would you like to go on vacation with me? Oh, with you on this trip? Yeah. That sounds great. Hmm. But I don't have that kind of money. I think it's worth it. Oh, look. Hmm. Hey, hey. Oh, Mikey, hi. Hey. Hi. What's up, JJ? Mikey, we'd love to go on an all-inclusive trip, but we don't have that many diamonds. Oh, so you haven't bought your tickets yet? Huh, I already did. Wow, Mikey, where'd you get the money for that ticket? Well, I just know how to work with the right people, JJ. Oh, cool, lucky you. Wow, yeah, it's too bad we can't go with you. You know what, JJ? I'll help you make money. Really? Yes! Oh, thank you, Mikey. You're welcome. I'll come to you later about the job. All right, I'll be waiting. Bye. Oh, honey, we'll still be able to go on this trip. Are you sure you can save up that many diamonds? Yeah, it's gonna be hard, but Mikey's gonna help me. So we're going after all? Yeah, we're going on vacation after Yay, all. Yay, I'm so excited. Three days later. So are you ready to embark on this amazing journey? Yeah, I think I'm ready for our trip. Cool. Look at the boat we're going on. Is this really our ship? Speaker woman, did you ever expect this liner to be this huge? No, it's unbelievable. I thought it would be a little smaller. Wow. That's what I call scale. It's mesmerizing. Wow. Yeah, and we're going on that boat. Yeah, but first we have to buy tickets. Uh. Come on, let's go. Yeah, right. We still have to buy the tickets. This is it. I hope you got all the money you need. Yeah, of course I got it all. Then go buy them. Okay, hello. Good afternoon. Ticket for you? I'd like two tickets to your lovely liner, please. Yes, of course. 
That'll be exactly 60 diamonds. Hmm. There's a huge promotion going on right now. All services are free. Oh! I hope you enjoy your vacation. All that's left to do is issue your tickets. Cool! Here are your tickets. Oh, thank you very much. So what's up? I bought the tickets. That's just great, JJ. Now our trip will be unforgettable. Yeah! This ship looks solid. I think so too. Oh, I wish we could go on vacation like this more often. Hey guys! Uh... Here I am, Mikey. <laughs> You're already here! Is that Mikey? Huh, he looks so cute. I'm all set! Mikey, huh? You look pretty, uh, prepared. Hmm, what's wrong? Yeah, Mikey, are you sure you're gonna need all this? Oh, of course I'm gonna go with the duck. I got this at work, it's my mascot. Hmm, interesting. JJ, we should really hurry up. Oh, right. The ship's leaving soon, let's hurry. Come on, we gotta get to the ship. Go. Mikey, wait for us. JJ, you got two tickets, right? Oh, I'm all set. That's great, then we're good to go. Oh, I'm so excited. This is Boris, he's the captain of our ship. Cool, man. Oh, yes, I salute you. I am the captain of the ship. Nice. As you can see, my ship is very large. Yeah. Let me see your tickets, please. Yeah, here's my ticket. Take it. Thank you. Hmm, Mr. Mikey, you may pass. Great. I'll wait for you there. All right, I'll be right there. Now it's your turn to show us your tickets. Yeah, here you go. Oh, there's two of you. Uh, all right, Mr. JJ and Mrs. Speakerwoman, you can both go through. Come on, let's go. Yay, let's go on an adventure. Oh, here we are. Oh, we're finally here. We've got so much to see. Oh, my lady, I'm so glad we're going on such a great trip. Two hours later. Oh, first few hours on the road, and I've already tried so many things. Yes, it was quite a thrill. Yeah! We've already gone over everything we can. Can we stop now? Yeah, but we haven't been here yet. Oh, but JJ... Let's go. Okay. Oh, this place is pretty spacious. Whoa. Oh, there's even fitness equipment. Huh, we'll keep fit while we relax. <laughs> hmm, what else is there? Oh, here comes Mikey. Hey, JJ and Speaker Woman, how's it going? Oh, Mikey, hi. Oh, cookies. Yeah! Where'd you get those? I got a tip from a guest that there's free food here. Oh, Mikey, you're so smart. Yeah, unlike you, I was doing business and socializing. You've got it all figured out. I also knew there was something interesting on the deck. Let's go have fun, JJ. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this liner is so huge that I haven't been here yet, although I've walked a lot. JJ, but it's only the second floor. Is this just the second floor? Wow, the liner's that big. Cool. It's unbelievable! Yeah! It's got four floors! But that's not what I wanted to talk about. Oh, here it is! A beautiful cliff into the pool! Is there a pool? Yeah, yeah! This is what I call a vacation! It looks amazing! Yeah, I'm gonna jump in! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Let's go! Ah! Woo! Mikey's the champ! JJ, this water is awesome! Wow, it's not scary at all! I think we can rest easy here, JJ. Oh! It's time to relax completely! Ooh, it's a luxury vacation. These diamonds are nothing compared to this lavish vacation. Huh, I don't think we would have ever been able to afford it if it weren't for Mikey. Yeah! This place is awesome. Guys, stop praising me already. I just did what I had to do. Yeah, oh, this is so good. Hi. Mikey, thanks for inviting us. This place is great. Yeah, I'm ready to live here. Relax. No! <gasps> ah! What? What was that? What happened? What happened? That's very strange. It was like some kind of a bang. I'm scared. Maybe the liner hit something? I'll have to check it out. Five minutes later. Speaker woman, get up. Oh, what is it? How long have we been asleep? Uh, hmm. You remember, don't you? Yeah, a little bit. There was a shipwreck. Oh, no. We were lucky to escape. Yes, we're very lucky. But where are we now? Hmm. Oh, we've lost so much. That's right. Wait a second. What's up, JJ? Where's Mikey? Oh, hmm. Where is everyone? Where did the ship and my friends go? Mikey, you gotta swim to us right now. Oh, but what's wrong? Mikey, swim to us. Mikey, there's a shark. Get out of there. Come on, swim to us. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't see any shark around. 
Oh my god, that's a real shark. I'm not gonna stay here. Whoever can swim fast doesn't get a shark bite. Mikey, hurry, hurry, hurry. Huh, I'm fast. Huh, it couldn't catch you. This is scary. What a scary shark. I don't think there's anything for us to do in the water. Yeah, we don't want to go in the water. Oh, I'm tired. We're gonna have to survive out here for a while. Do we really have to? Yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna eat in the meantime. And we have to find some kind of island. Yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry. Oh, JJ, don't worry. I've got a fishing pole for just such occasions. I'm gonna give you some fish. Oh, Mikey, where'd you get the fishing rod? Whoa. <laughs> Did you get it at work? Oh, yeah. I got this fishing rod at work, and now I carry it around in my pocket all the time. Well, at least we have a fishing rod so we don't have to think about food. Let the fishing begin. The next day. Oh, guys! It looks like we're docked on some kind of island. Wow, this island is so big. Oh, and there's another island right next to it. Cool. We're incredibly lucky to be here. I wonder how long it will take us to explore this island. Mm, macaroni and cheese. Mikey, wake up. Ouch, what is it? Okay, we're here. Oh, no. My lady, wake up. We're here. Oh, JJ, where are we? We're docked on some island. Cool. The views here are really incredible. Wild. I think we can survive here for a while. Wow, this is so much better than floating on a raft. Hmm. Yeah, but at least we're not in the sea. I'm getting stormy. Oh, that's a nasty disease. So where do we start? I don't think we need food. Hmm. We got Mikey. Oh. But a house would be nice. Yeah, I don't think we need this raft anymore. Yeah, that's the cool stuff. You could make a house out of this. And a roof and a fence. Also, it's firewood. <gasps> hmm, what's that? Look out. Huh, who are they? JJ. Oh, no. They're natives. What? And they're coming right at us. They're obviously very dangerous, guys. They've got spears. They're obviously dangerous. I don't like it at all. Oh, we're gonna have to fight back with our fists. Okay, okay. JJ, that was the best vacation of my life. Oh, you know, speaker woman, you're my last ray of hope in this world. Mikey's huh, here. Oh, what? Oh, what's that? Mikey. You can't beat the great Mikey. Mikey, is that a tank? This is crazy. It was a simple mission, Commander. Oh. I beat them all. You're unconditionally good. Hee hee hee. But where'd you get a tank? Oh, I saw that pretty girl around the corner and I thought it was destiny. It's around the corner, really? Hee hee hee. Okay, I don't have anything to be surprised about anymore. Well. While we're surviving here, I think we should make rocks into the word SOS. Wow, JJ. I think that word and your tank will help us find help. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's huge. Mikey's doing amazing things. Guys, after a while, we got a little lost and got a couple blocks. Look what Mikey and Speaker Woman are doing right now. Yeah, and we worked all alone. Yeah, just us. So I'm helping you. And how did you help us? I'm your commanding officer. Huh, you're funny. That's a job, too. We're done. Yay, we're all set. Cool. I think they can definitely see that sign from up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a tough couple hours on the island, but I think help is on the way. You're right. Look over there. Yay! Oh, it's the rescue helicopter. Cool. He could see our sign. Cool. Cool. That's so cool. Yay. We're saved, guys. I agree. This is the best part of the vacation. One day later. Mikey and I are going to go play soccer on the playground today. All right, Mikey. You ready to play? Of course I am. Look at that ball. Let's start playing already. With such a great ball, you can become a pro soccer player. Get in there, JJ. We'll kick the ball to each other. That's great. Let's see how professional you are. Are you doubting me? I'm gonna kick you so hard you'll never catch it. Or should I take pity on you and hit you less hard? Kick it already. You talk too much for a professional. Catch, JJ. The ball's coming your way. And that's what you call a punch? Now you catch. How'd you like my shot? Well, you could have hit it better. Now I'm gonna hit harder. Well, let's see. Yeah, Mikey. I thought you were better than that. You hit like a girl yourself. But you make fun of me. Let's not fight. Let's just play soccer. I was just trying to spice up our game. But okay, let's just play. Watch me hit the ball. Wow, he's jumping. Nice, JJ, nice shot. I want to try to hit as well as you. Where are you, kids? I'm coming to you. Oh, looks like we won't be playing anymore. There you are. Come here, stop kicking the ball. What's wrong, Dad? Now I'm going to show you my little surprise. Come inside, you'll be glad you did. Whoa, what's in there, Dad? Could this be a new computer? Or a new scooter? Let's go inside and find out. You'll never guess. Okay, Dad, we'll be right there. So, Mikey, what do you think Daddy has planned for us? What do you have in mind? Let's go quickly and find out. But I think it's a new scooter for us. We've been asking for one for a long time. Maybe it is a computer after all. We told Dad about it a long time ago. Longer than the scooter. Well, then let's go find out. I'd be happy with either of those two things. Me too. Then open the doors and let's go find out. Here come the parents. They sure bought us something. Come on, JJ. I want to know something. Soon. Hi, Mom and Dad. We're here. Hey, guys. 
We've prepared an interesting surprise for you. We're sure you'll love it. It's very unusual. Well, what is it? Just say it. It's a ticket to a big trip. You'll be traveling together for the whole summer. You'll have fun. What about a scooter or a computer? We thought you were talking about that surprise. Aren't you guys excited about our surprise? Isn't that a bad gift? No, Mom, it's okay. We love it. It's a wonderful surprise. Thank you so much. We are excited to go on a big trip. That's good. We knew you would appreciate it. I told you traveling was great. A computer would have been better, though. Come on, then. Go pack your bags and you'll be traveling today. Be sure to let me know later if you liked it. Well, shall we go pack? Yes, you have a flight coming up. Then we'll go to our room. We need to figure out what we're going to take with us. That's right. Well done, guys. I'm proud of you. Good luck to you. Even though it's not what we wanted, it should be a lot of fun too that's what i thought too we'll get more emotion out of it than a scooter or a computer will we be bringing toys mikey there's too many of them but i think we can take a couple the main thing is to choose what things to take with you we have a lot of them so you only need to take everything you need it's true i don't think we have enough room to bring toys with so much stuff too hurry up and get your stuff or we're gonna miss our plane yeah we gotta get ready otherwise we'll be left without any surprise at all Three hours later. And here we are on our way to our plane. Yeah, that's our plane over there. They decided to give us a ride there in this little bus. There's nothing else to do. Let's go say goodbye to our parents. Come on, they're probably out there waiting for us. And there they are standing over there. Hey, Mikey, JJ, come here. The plane's leaving soon. All right, Mikey, let's get to traveling. It's about time we did this, JJ. I've been dreaming of a vacation for a long time, you know. You're finally here. It took you so long to get here. We just wanted to ride the bus. And we're gonna fly in this red? I don't feel like going in there anymore. We paid money for your trip. But we didn't want to go to that place. Bye, kids. Have a good rest. Bye-bye. Don't come back. Bye, Mom, Dad. We'll miss you. Who are you lying to? You never miss anyone. That's just to be polite, Mikey. You don't know anything about that. Let's get to our seats on the plane. I don't think this wreck will fly all the way. We'll hope for the best, Mikey. I just wish they served hot burgers for lunch on the airplane. Mikey, all you want to do is eat. Hello, passengers. Welcome aboard the Godspeed. Uh, that's a strange name for an airplane? Whatever the airplane. Whatever the name. Stop whining. Okay, okay, okay. As long as the plane survives the flight. Come on, I'll show you your passenger seats. Oh my god, there are so many people here. Here are your plastic chairs. Please sit down. Aren't airplanes supposed to have normal seats? No, of course not. You bought too cheap a ticket in economy class. Why aren't we flying premium class? Be thankful we're sitting and not standing on an airplane. But there are televisions here. We can watch Star Wars here. Ladies and gentlemen, please buckle up. Wow, we're taking off in the air already. I'm a little scared. I'm scared too, but if we fall, it'll be while watching a cool movie. I'll have a better view outside my window. Okay, whatever you want. I'm gonna get some sleep. You know, I was supposed to have the day off today. Buddy, but you're already at work. I don't care at all. I'm gonna break something and fly back home. No, don't do it. Too late. I don't care about anything. It's my legal weekend. I'm gonna parachute home. You're a complete idiot. Everyone's gonna crash on that plane. Oh my god, what's going on? Our plane's going down, JJ. What makes you say that? Everyone around here is calm. Oh my god, our engine's on fire. Oh god, I don't want to end my life like this. We're all gonna fall. Pay attention. Nobody panic. We still have another engine. It's okay. I'm asking everyone to stay where they are. We're gonna fix that engine soon. I repeat. Do not panic. I'm already panicking. JJ, what do we do? I don't want to die. Do something. You're the older brother. What am I supposed to do? Should I go fix the engine? Are you crazy? We're going down, JJ. Fix the engine faster. How am I going to fix it for you? Oh, my God. My butt hurts so bad. Good thing I landed right on top of it. Okay, where did I land? Some weird beach? Some weird water? Mikey's still out. He's a big sleeper. Wake up now, Mikey. Get up. We survived. Mikey, I need you. Rise and shine, Mikey. Uh, what? Who called me? I called you. We're on some kind of island. I noticed that, but it's not that kind of island. It's too hot in here for some reason. I think I know why it's warm in here. And why is that? Because it's not water, JJ. What's that then? This is lava, not water. We're on an island around a lava ocean. Oh my god, you're right. How are we supposed to get out of here? I don't know. If we swim in it, we'll be completely fried. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Just don't cry, please. Do I have to make you feel better again? Though you could dry up that ocean of lava with your tears. JJ, we're not alone on this island. What? Who's that? Men, we got boys on the island. That's so cool. Um, I don't like this. Me too, JJ. Let's get to know each other, gentlemen. Hello, my name is Mikey. My name is JJ. We fell out of an airplane. We need help. 
how beautiful they are. We'll help you. Don't doubt it. How cute and beautiful you both are. It's an island of women. Oh my god, we're out of luck. You're very lucky to have come to us. It's really bad. And it's not going anywhere yet. Don't worry about it. We'll let you into one of our cottages. We would do anything for such handsome boys. I love them both already. I would be their mommy forever. They're all out of their minds. I've already noticed that, JJ. Hee <laughs> they are so funny. I love them. Let's go settle them on our island. Follow us, handsome boys. That's what my mom used to say to me. But these aren't our moms. Come on with us. You know, we could use it, though. Live here like kings. I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, don't be scared. What if they eat us? You've been watching horror movies on TV again, JJ. That's not what normal people do. Girls, where are we going to put these boys? Any house at all. Any home they want. Any house? Hmm, that's something to think about. I want to live in the best house on the island. Whatever you say, my little prince. Oh, and it's already nightfall. It's bedtime. We urgently need sleep after such a hard day. Well, then this is the right house for you. Come with us, my sweeties. Oh, how very hospitable of you. And why are you helping us? Because we haven't had men on the island in a long time. We're still kids. What kind of men are we? Very handsome men. You are very nice ladies, too. Oh, that's so sweet. He's so good. We're lucky to have you. Please make yourself at home. That's cool. Now we have our own house. Good night, our favorite men. Hope you enjoyed your stay with us. All right, girls. Follow me. We've got a lot to do tonight. Good night, all of you. Thanks again for everything. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... I'd sleep with you two, but we really have a lot to do. Good night, my darlings. See how lucky we are. We have them under our command. They'll carry food and scout us around the clock. Yeah, I agree. That's not a bad house they gave us. I guess our parents had a smaller house. It's not the presidential palace, but it'll do. Time to go to bed, JJ. Okay, let's go to bed. I'm so tired from today. Are you planning on leaving this island? No, of course not. It's cool. And there's our minions. It's also got comfy beds. Oh yeah, the beds here are great. I still don't trust them, Mikey. Uh-huh. What's wrong with them? They're wonderful and beautiful girls. Okay, let's settle this tomorrow. Good night. Good night, JJ. Huh, he fell asleep so fast. He must be as tired as me. Not a bad day. Oh, what's that noise outside our house? Mikey didn't even move from those sounds. And then we'll sacrifice them, all for our gods of this island. Uh, what? I didn't hear that? Maybe those girls next to me are talking about something. I should check it out. Although, maybe it's some wild animals lurking behind our house. It's scary to come out here at night. We'll tie them up. What? They're definitely girls. They're right around the corner. They'll wake up in the morning and find themselves tied up right over the fire. Oh, for the god of this island. Then he'll give us more men. I can't wait to kill our guests right now. Be patient, my friend. The morning will soon come and we'll do our thing. Oh my god, are they trying to kill us? Why don't I stab them with my knife? What? They're all crazy. We should run away from here. Why do we have to wait until morning? We can kill them right now. No, for the ritual, it has to be done in the sunlight. We must wait. That's great. Mikey and I still have time to get off this island. I gotta wake him up first. That's just awful. They pretended to love us on purpose. Mikey, get up. We're in grave danger. They're trying to kill us. Get up. Stop sleeping. Mikey, it's time to get out of here. Wake up. This is no time to rest. Ouch, what happened? Why are you waking me up? Those sick women are trying to kill us. We've got to get off this island as fast as we can. Uh, why would they want to kill us? They like us. They love us. I don't know. They want to do some kind of ritual and then kill us as a sacrifice to some gods on this island. Oh my god. Then we've got to get out of here before they come after us. Where was the last place they were? They were over there behind the wall. We should get out of the house quietly and unnoticed. Okay, keep your eyes open, JJ. They could be waiting for us anywhere. I'm always on the lookout, Mikey. I think they've already gone to their cabins. Then we ran to the beach. Let's go. Escape from the island begins. I almost believe them. Oh my god. I like them so much. I really didn't want to go home. Who knew it was an island of maniacs? Uh, how do we get out of here? There's lava all around. I completely forgot about that. I don't know. We have to figure something out. Maybe build some kind of ship. Oh, I have an idea. What kind of idea? We're gonna build a raft. And we'll get the planks from that palm tree over there, JJ. And on that raft, we're gonna get off this island. Won't this wooden raft burn up in the lava? Uh... I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's no other plan. Break the tree, JJ. 
There goes our mega salvage ship. This boat will take us home. Uh, it's a whole trough, Mikey. We're not gonna get very far on it. If you have another plan, it's too late. Passengers, I invite you all to our cruise ship. Yeah, a cruise ship. That's funny. Oh my god, JJ, those maniacs spotted us. Hey, stop right there. You're not getting off our island. We're not gonna let you do that. We've gotta stop them, girls. Wait for us. We need to talk to you. Don't swim away from us. Mikey, it's time to get off this island right now. Otherwise, they'll kill us both. Get on the raft. Hurry up. Stop, please. Come back. Back here. You liked it here. We'll be friends. Yeah, we'll be right back. Haha, <laughs> I was kidding. No one will ever come to visit you again, you stupid maniacs. Let's swim home, JJ. Let's go, Mikey. They're so stupid. We just outsmarted them so easily. You'll be back here again, you stupid men. Hee hee hee, dumb women. Men are always smarter than women. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Why do I live in such a horrible house? Why? Hmm, it's not a house, it's a barn. I have no money at all. And my job said they don't need me anymore. Oh, why is fate so cruel to me? I'm very hungry. Oh, no. But there's nothing in my fridge but green potatoes. Oh, hmm, I'm gonna go take out the trash. Maybe I'll find some food in the trash. Oh, what am I thinking? This poverty is driving me crazy. I'm not going to look for food in the garbage. I'm never gonna do that. I'm gonna get a job and food. I can do it 100%. <gasps> Who are these beautiful girls? Oh, it's very noticeable. That's what I'm telling her. That purse is too cheap. Oh, so beautiful. I want to meet them. I'll say what the girls like. Goddesses, hey, you girls are beautiful. Can I meet you? That's what I'm telling Shh. you. Wait, some poor guy wants to meet us. Huh. Don't talk to us, Popper. He thinks a ragamuffin is worthy of our beauty. Wow. Funny. But I just wanted to meet you both. I want love too, even though I'm a pauper. Oh, I have to admit, I'm not going to get anywhere in this life. I should just accept the hopelessness of my situation and live out my last days in my barn. Today is just the most beautiful day. The sun is so hot, I want to go for a swim. Look over there. I'm so glad I have such an awesome pool for days like today. Yeah, oh my god. What could be better than a swim in the pool on a hot day like this? I don't think there's anything better than a swim in the pool today. What am I talking about? I live in such a great house. I should appreciate my life and enjoy every moment of it. Oh, what's that? Buy a yacht only today. Hmm, for one million dollars. Wow, it's so cheap. I'm gonna buy this boat, it's a dime a dozen. I'm gonna take my friend Mikey on a road trip. I think he's gonna love hearing this from me. I'm wondering if he still lives in that poor neighborhood. I hope not, because I wish him well. It's time to take my favorite $150,000 car and go to Mikey's. Oh, I still can't get enough of this car. It looks very stylish, I love it. Anyway, I gotta get going. I still have to stop by to buy a boat and then go look for Mikey. Hmm, I still need to stop for groceries and also hire a crew for the yacht. And I also need to make an itinerary for our boat trip. Where should we go? How about the island? Oh my god, I've got so much to do. By the way, the bus we need should have gotten here a long time ago. Oh, what lovely ladies. Why don't I meet them? Oh, look over there. Wow, this car is incredibly expensive. What a cool car. Who's driving? Whoa, who's that guy? Whoa. Hmm, lovely ladies. Would you both like to ride in my cool car with me? Oh my god. You're still asking? I say yes. Of course we want to ride with you. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let's go for a ride. What's your name? We're sisters. It's gonna be mega cool. Sorry to talk about it, but not this time. I'm in a hurry right now. What? Bye-bye. How so? Get back here. What a jerk, but so handsome. We remembered you. Huh, girls are so easy to fall for pretty things. Uh, does Mikey really still live in that old dilapidated house? Hmm, well, we should check to see who lives here. It'll be amazing if this is Mikey's house. Mikey, it's your friend JJ. Open the door, I'm here to visit. Hmm, oh! Hey! Mikey, what's up, buddy? Things are getting worse, JJ. Oh my god, what happened? Life is downhill, no food at all. Uh, come on in the house. Uh, okay. It's not really a house, it's my shed. Yes, your house is in a very dilapidated state. Yes. Why don't you have any money, Mikey? I've been fired from my job, it's a nightmare. I'm living out my last days here. Uh, Mikey, come on a road trip with me. Uh, traveling? Yeah, a yacht trip. Are you sure about that? I'm all set, but I'm missing the most important thing. You! Hmm, stay here to die, or go on a sea voyage with my best friend. Oh my god. JJ, let's go. Cool, my car's outside. Uh, JJ, can I drive your car? Hmm. I'll be careful, I promise you. Oh, of course you can drive my car. Holy turtle. It's gonna be a breeze, huh? Yay! It's been so long since I've driven a car. Oh! Thank you, JJ, for letting me drive your car. Oh, you're welcome. Let's hurry up. I'm so excited. Hurry up, hurry up. Wow, JJ, that car looks very expensive. That's the way it is. I can't believe I'll be driving such an expensive car right now. Well, time is of the essence. Let's hit the road. <gasps> what are you so surprised? 
surprised about? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. What do you think of the interior of my car? One steering wheel here is worth more than my whole life. How much does it cost? Well, I bought it at a discount, just under $150,000. Stop! What? Oh, I can already feel the sea breeze. Mikey, look over there. There's our yacht. JJ, it's just an incredibly big boat. There's also a lot of food. Oh my god, will I be allowed to eat there? Yeah. JJ, how much money did you spend on this? A lot of money, Mikey. A lot of money. Wait, why? Well, uh, it's a lot of money to you. It's nothing to me. JJ, you are unbelievable. Uh, I'm jealous of you, but in a white way. That's good to hear. By the way, the yacht has swimming pools. Wow, I can already see one of the pools. Oh. Whoa, it's so beautiful here. I'm glad you like it here. <laughs> Do you want to go for a swim? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yay! The water is such a nice temperature. Nice! Wow, this pool is heated. Come on out, there's a lot more to see. Is there anything more interesting here than a swimming pool? Yes, of course. And this isn't the only pool here, so you'll have time to swim. Wow, is this man the captain of a ship? Yeah! Oh, hello, I'm the captain of this fine yacht. Hey! Since you're here, we can go sailing. Hmm. An unforgettable voyage to different islands awaits Ooh. you. The journey will be long enough to keep you entertained in the play cool. area. Cool! Sounds awesome! There is also your sleeping quarters. Nice! Enjoy the journey. Thank you! I want to see it all soon. Then let's go. Yes, you're right. Let's take a look at the playroom. I'm very interested. Wow, there's a pool table in here. Well, I was expecting a little more, but it's fun too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed too. Well, let's take a look at our sleeping quarters. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, it's pretty cozy in here. Oh, hmm. What do you think, Mikey? Well, it's much more comfortable here than at my house, huh? We've got a long way to go. Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty tired. Let's rest here for a while. Yeah, and later we'll go to the pool. Two hours later. Hello again, everyone. Our boat is already on the high seas. Now Mikey and I decided to lounge in the pool. He's just lying there. Hello again, everyone. We're here relaxing like normal guys with money. Normal guys? You're on my money here on vacation, remember? Of course I remember. It's just a joke. Look how I dive. Wow, Mikey, you're so cool. Of course, I love swimming. Why can't we swim off the side of the boat? What's going on? There's some kind of explosion. Everybody off the ship. We got a breach in the deck. Save yourselves. Where's the hole? In the center of the deck. I won't give you your trip money back. Goodbye, everyone. Everyone, save yourselves. Oh, God, Mikey, we are drowning. Our yacht is sinking. What do we do? Is our boat sinking? We have to save ourselves. There's a life raft on the boat. Did he say life raft? Yes. Then let's get to the dinghy before our boat breaks in half. This dinghy doesn't look very promising. JJ, that's something at least. Just why did the captain of the ship sail on his own if there are boats like this here? I don't know. Why did the captain jump off the ship first? He acted like a coward. Why would he save someone else's life when he's got his own? Because it's his job. He's the captain of the ship. Okay, we survived survived a sinking ship. What do we do next? I don't know. JJ, look, our boat's going down. Oh my God, Mikey, we got out of there just in time. I think we should just wait for help. We have no food, no water, no compass. We have nothing. We're stuck in the middle of the ocean. Our chances of survival are slim. Maybe we should get to some island and start surviving there. But where do you see an island around here, Mikey? There's nothing but vast ocean beyond the horizon. Three hours later. I'm so thirsty and hungry, I'm dehydrated. Are we on some kind of island? We should look for people. Mikey, Mikey, wake up. We're on the island. I can't do it alone without you. Wake up already. We have to find people. Huh? What? I fell asleep a little bit. Where are we, JJ? We're on an unknown island. We should explore it and look for food. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go explore the island. Hopefully there's electricity and we can call 911. Oh, Mikey, did you hear that? It's the cry of a sheep. There's a village near here. Yeah, JJ, you're right. It's a village on an island. Yes, the village. Mikey, we're saved. They'll feed us and help us. This is so great. Yeah, that's awesome. I hope they know how to make burgers. I'm pretty hungry for today. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm having some kind of deja vu with this island, though. It's like I've lived here before. All these houses look familiar. Let's go, JJ. Maybe you dreamed it in your sleep. Maybe, but so far I don't see any residents here. Where's everybody gone? Maybe they're hiding from us. I don't want to survive on a desert island. Oh, JJ, look, it's the islanders. Yes, they're women. We should meet them. Girls, look, it's TV man. He's so handsome. Hey, girls. Oh my God, look how beautiful he is. Are they sure it's me they're talking about? Of course, you're the only gorgeous one on this island. Give us something to eat and drink. Will you shut up? Don't you see? I'm talking to the handsome man. Yes, don't you dare open your filthy mouth. Here. And with you, handsome, let's talk more. Oh, you're all so beautiful today. We jumped off a sinking ship and came here. Could you give us some food and water? We haven't eaten anything in a long time. Food? Of course. Come with us, honey. We'll give you anything you ask for. Will you stay with us longer? Of course, girls. 
JJ, I'm so lucky. They all love me so much. Have a seat here. We'll give you something to eat, dear. We have fresh meat and meat pizza for dinner. We really like to eat meat. Help yourself, my boy. So cool. I'm honored here. That's weird. Why didn't they like me? I'll eat with Mikey then. He's not going to eat all this anyway. But these ladies cook very good food. I've never seen anything like it on the mainland. Eat up, honey. You need to put on weight. You're getting skinny. Hey, what's that green guy's name? My name is Mikey. Thank you all so much for this delicious food. Oh, he thanked us. What a polite young man. Listen, ladies, we have nowhere to sleep. Could you put us in a house somewhere? Of course. Of course. Come sleep with us, Mikey. Nah, we'll give him his own place. He's a guest. He's such a beautiful guest. How nice of you. I didn't expect such hospitality from you. Thank you very much for everything. Anything for you, Mikey. We really like you. You are the best girls in the world. If you get lonely tonight, you can call us. We'll bring more food. Thank you, of course, but we're both so full. You're a delicious cook. Thank you so much. Good night, Mikey. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Thanks for everything. Mikey, let's go to bed. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Oh, they're coming back. Stop, you stupid speaker. You're not allowed to sleep in there. But why can't I sleep there? Because we made your bed somewhere else. Follow us. We'll show you where you belong. Okay, okay, let's go take a look. It's right there. This is where you're gonna sleep. Just what you need. A house made out of newspapers? Are you serious? Put me in a normal house. Yeah, that's a little much for my friend. We don't know anything. All the houses are occupied. Oh, really? Are you suggesting I sleep on the floor? Uh, yeah, sure. Good night again, Mikey. Yeah, good night, Mikey. We should get going. We got a lot of things to do tomorrow. Bye-bye, girls. Good night to you all. Thank you again for the whole house. Well, JJ, it's sad that you got a bed on the street, but it's okay, you'll get over it. I don't think they'll listen to me. I gotta go to bed. Good night. Good night, Mikey. He didn't even try to ask them. Friends, have you ever slept on the streets in a tent? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to lay down in this pile of papers. It's a shame the way these girls treat me. I tried to be polite, but they liked Mikey for some reason. All right, girls, let's take this tasty little beauty out back to the fire. We've fed him. It's time for us to taste him. I've already built a fire. Take him over there. Be quiet before he wakes up. Ha ha ha, I hope it will be very tasty. I love to eat people. The next day. Oh my god, my back hurts from those papers. But I'll get over it. Good morning, friends. Did you put a like under this video? By the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I can't look at these papers anymore. I gotta go check on Mikey. Maybe he's still asleep. Of course, in a house this comfortable, I'd sleep forever. Mikey, wake up. Let's go for a walk. Stop sleeping, Mikey. Mikey, don't sleep. It's daytime. Get out of the house. Why does it smell like smoke and campfire? Is somebody barbecuing? Oh, there's girls making fire. Oh, hold on. They're burning Mikey. They want to eat him? What? We're on Cannibal Island. What are we supposed to do? Oh my God. Ooh, that's so cool. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. OP. These leans are awesome. I'm like Tarzan from the cartoons, except my parents aren't gorillas. I'd better not fall off the lean. Oh, hey guys, don't forget to like this video. Would you like to jump over trees on leans like this? Oh my God, look, a burning airplane going straight down. How horrible. There's a lot of people inside. It must hurt to fall from that high. I wouldn't want to be on that board. Looks like it's going to fall not far from here. I need to get there as fast as I can. It exploded? That's horrible. I gotta get there faster than the speakers. They can eat them all. They were so unlucky to fall on Cannibal Island. I may have to meet the speakers again. They wanted to eat me too. Oh my God, that plane set my forest on fire. I need to find the survivors. If they're still alive. What a huge airplane this is. From far away, it seems so tiny. The doors to the inside of the plane are closed. Although I think trying to get inside the plane is a bad idea. It might explode again. I don't see any surviving passengers. Where are they? Oh, I think I see one. Just one? Only one person survived? And it's some little boy. Looks like he's the one who needs my help. I'll go to him now. Then I have to put out all these lights. The whole island could be incinerated in an instant. It looks like he's scared. Hey, boy. Boy, come here. Hey, how are you? You okay? Where are your parents? Hi, I'm fine, but my parents died on that plane. I'm the only survivor of the crash. I don't know what to do. I'm all alone. I feel sorry for my parents. What's going to happen to me? I know exactly what you need to do. It's to get off this island right now. That's where the speakers live. They eat people. Oops, more and more problems every minute. Look, maybe you could help me out while I stay at your house for a while. I don't have anywhere to go right now. Yes, I can take you to my village. For real? Thank you so much. You are the only one who can help me now. From now on, I'm in your debt. We better get out of here fast. There's still fuel left inside the plane. It could explode. So cool. Never been to the islands. Thanks again for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Just let me remind you, this is a Hannibal Island. My family is no exception, but I eat plants and berries. But don't be afraid. I'll hide you. Two hours later. 
There's my village. The villagers are all out hunting now. But be quiet anyway. You're not supposed to be noticed. Okay, okay, I get it. There's your cabin. No one will notice you here. Maybe. What? I'm gonna live on the street? No. In this cabin, it's cozy. Make yourself comfortable. I thought I could stay at your house. I'm gonna freeze to death out here at night. And it's uncomfortable. Look, you don't have a choice. Get inside. Anywhere else, you're gonna get eaten by my neighbors or my parents. Don't you dare come out of your cabin. I forbid you. For your own safety. Okay, okay. I hear you. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks for the cabin, at least. I used to build these at my house. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna go to my house. I'll bring something to eat soon. I wouldn't sleep in a place like this. What's the most unusual place you guys have slept in? Write it in the comments. Hopefully everything will be okay. Did you see the plane crash? There were no survivors. Could have been so much human flesh. Oh, hey, JJ, where have you been? Uh, well... I've been hunting all day, but I haven't found anyone. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I'm so hungry, JJ, and your hand looks so delicious. It doesn't matter. We need to try to hunt and find at least someone to eat. Our supplies are running low. Yeah, JJ, try to hunt better. Your roots and berries aren't tasty at all. It's not food. People are food. Very tasty and nutritious. Now, JJ, go clean up your room. Daddy and I are going to go hunting next. First, we have to gather all our axes and knives. We need to be ready at all times. Okay, whatever you say. I've never understood how you can eat other people. They're creatures just like us. <coughs> Woo, I think I got some sleep. I should go check on Mikey. Get him some vegetables or something. Or does he like fruit? Ah, don't do this, please. Help me. I'm being roasted at the stake. Help me. I'm in pain. Ow, ow, ow. What's going on? Somebody grabbed Mikey? I need to help him now. Where is he? Where's Mikey? Oh my God, my parents want to eat it. They're already grilling him. Mommy, Daddy, please stop. It's my friend. He's the only survivor from the plane. Please let him go. Don't eat him. But we're hungry. It doesn't matter. I hid it behind the house so no one would eat it. Let him go. He's in pain. Okay, okay. You release him yourself. You're vegan. JJ, hurry up and get me off the fire. I'm gonna fry. Yes, yes, now. Okay, you're free. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for bailing me out, JJ. They caught me so fast. Where do I go now? That way, Mikey. In that cabin. Don't you dare come out of that place. I'll talk to my parents. They won't hurt you. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on you. Come on. Go back before someone else sees you again. Thank you, JJ, for saving me. I owe you again. You're the best. All right, all right. Just go. Bye, JJ. Thanks again. Bye-bye, Mikey. Be careful. Why did he come out of the shelter? I told him. Oh, my God. I'm totally going to get yelled at and punished. JJ, how dare you? You took pity on your prey and sheltered it outside our house? We almost ate him. We've been without food for days. Yes, darling. It was so juicy and delicious and nutritious. And then you came. JJ, you're grounded. You're going to stand in the corner all day. Yes, go to the corner. You're grounded. You made us hungry. Okay, if you say so, you cannibals. I don't want to hear anything. Get in the corner, you little idiot. We're sick of your antics. Eating people is a good thing. Yes. No, it's bad to eat your own kind. They're just as human as we are. Why don't you eat each other? Shut your mouth. We've lived like this for years. Get in the corner. It's okay to eat people. You're the smart one, aren't you? I don't think so. Your mom's right. You got yourself a puppy. And they need to be eaten. Finally, that's what I did. My father did. And mine used to do the same thing. And my grandfather did. No one's gonna change for you. Oh my God, what idiots my parents are. The next day. Oh, my back. Did I sleep in this corner all night? Hmm. Wow, it really is morning. Oh, I hope Mikey got far enough away. Because he can't survive here otherwise. Oh, the speaker men on this island don't like outsiders very much. Especially TV men like Mikey. I better not bother my parents. Uh, JJ, open up. I'm here. Mikey? This call doesn't work. I'm going to press it again. Mikey! Oh, JJ, I missed you. And I wanted to say thank you for saving me. Mikey, my parents could wake up at any moment. You need to get out of here now. Can I come inside? No, there's no way you're going back to my house. I'll just come in for a couple minutes. What's wrong with that? Uh, oh. No, means no. Well, uh, JJ, what are you doing up so early in the morning? Nothing at all. That's really weird. Who rang our doorbell? Are you hiding something from us? No, I'm not hiding anything. Then get away from the door. No, I can't step back. I just can't do JJ, it. JJ, step aside now. Dad! JJ, step aside or I'll punish you again. Oh no, okay dad, I'll step aside. I had a TV boy behind me the whole time. Mikey! Uh, hi, I'm Mikey. Oh, JJ, that's our escaped kebab from last night. Let's roast him. You're not running away from us this time. Oh, huh? Dad, wait. There's something I have to tell you. I can't wait. I'll talk to you at lunch, JJ. Oh, my God. But it's very important. I don't want to hear anything on an empty stomach. The skillet is ready to fry. Oh, no. We're finally going to eat. Come on already. Dad. Ouch! Mikey! Oh, I never thought I'd be a breakfast. No, wait, we can't eat it. Huh, what do you mean we can't? Uncle, I'm not tasty at all. Just pick it up and eat we it. We haven't eaten in three whole days. Finally, some decent tasty food. We're very hungry. Wow, I didn't realize it was so bad with food. No, it's fine now. Just listen to me already. Mm. We can't eat this TV boy because he's here by accident. Oh, what? Uh, darling. He lost his parents in a plane crash. 
He's got no one left. How awful. Oh my god. Please, let's not eat him. Let's help him get home. All right, come on out, Snacky. Ooh. Yay. The nickname is Snacky, which sounds cool, but my name is Mikey. All right, Mikey, my name is Speaker Man. And my name is Speaker Woman. Yeah. You must have known our son for a long time. Huh. Nope. We just met for the first time a couple days ago. Yay. What are we going to do? Well, I've got an idea here on how we can send you home. Oh, what? I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, apparently you're going to get some help. Yay. Come on, Mikey. So what's the plan? I saw a boat at the shore, and I think you can easily swim it to your homeland. Wow, that sounds reliable. Yeah, let's take a look at that boat. Come on, I'll show you the way. JJ and your parents aren't as scary as they seemed in the beginning. Kids! Keep up with us. Hurry up, hurry up. Speaker Man can't show you the way home if you fall behind. That's right, so let's go. Yay! Mikey will be home soon. Oh, Dad, my legs are getting tired. Where's your boat? Wow, is that the boat? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we're finally here. Cool! And now it is my pleasure to present this boat to you. As you can see, it's afloat. It's fine. Speaker Man has been building this boat himself for weeks. You'll have no problem getting back to TV Town. Thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, we're sorry we wanted to eat you. Yeah. It's okay, because you finally helped me get a chance to go back to my homeland. Uh. I'm very grateful to you for that. Oh. And I'll never forget my journey here. Thank you for everything and goodbye. Mikey, I'll never forget you. I'll see you again. JJ, why don't we be friends next time I sail here? Oh, I'd love that. Text me, Mikey. Have a good trip. Hmm. Oh, well. Hope he can get home safely. I hate to remind you, but we still haven't eaten in three days. Oh, right. What are we going to eat now that our last breakfast just sailed away? I don't know. But I hope this breakfast has a smooth journey to its home. Oh, he's still waving at us. Mikey, I'm going to miss you. Okay, I think it's time to call it a day because my stomach is starving right now. Oh, that's right. JJ, I dare you to go hunting today because your daddy's really tired. Wait, what? But I'm tired too. The next day... Oh, my arms are going to fall off from paddling with these oars. But that's okay. I'm finally home. Oh, still, one day on the road is very much worth it. I'm in my homeland now. What a great town we have. I wish mom and dad were here with me. But I won't be discouraged. I can survive here. I'll have to send JJ a letter when I get settled in. Too bad we can't live in the same place. That would be awesome. That's right. Six months later. Oh, another boring day. And I was looking forward to hearing from Mikey. I guess he forgot all about me. I'm so sad about this. Uh... JJ, you finally got it. What are you talking about? Your friend Mikey gave you this letter. Oh! Well, through the mailman, he's the one who brought the letter. Oh my god! I was beginning to think he'd forgotten all about me. Well, you can tell me how he's doing later. Yeah! I'm gonna go fry some rabbit. Thanks, Dad. I'll tell you later. I finally waited for Mikey's letter. For JJ, from Mikey. Hello, JJ. How are you doing? I'm great. I've arrived in my city. Thank you for helping me and getting me off this island. I promise you that we will see each other again. Mikey. Oh my god! So he wasn't kidding when he said we would meet again. How cool is that? I'm just so excited right now. Later. I'm in a great mood today, aren't you? Hey! Mikey and I are having a great time outside today. Yes! I especially love that we're walking on this playground today. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. Oh, JJ, we haven't seen any skibbity toilets in so long, by the way. Yes, it's true. Come on, we gotta go. But at the same time, we have many different situations arising. Hmm. Well, I'm talking about going on vacation. Let's go to the side of the house and talk about it. Mikey, it sounds to me like we've been living more peacefully. Well, although there are fewer skibbity toilets, it's true. That sounds suspicious to me. Why is that suspicious? Explain it to me. Well, that's because the sky is blue, okay? Uh, no, not okay. I don't get it. Oh, huh? I'll tell our parents you're not telling me something. Calm down, JJ. I'm not hiding anything. Uh, what is that? Uh, JJ, look over there. There's some kind of weird gun over there. Oh my god. Hmm. Uh, Mikey, it's kind of just garbage. JJ, I can see that this gun is unusual. Really? Yeah, I've never even seen one of those in a book. Oh, and this thing is a little heavy. Wow. Huh, Mikey, why don't we try shooting this gun? Well, it can be dangerous, but also a lot of fun at the same time. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Let's stand back and shoot. I even know the right place. Oh, uh, what? There's an abandoned building. Shoot it. Wow, we're lucky no one lives here. Yeah, lucky us. All right, Mikey, you ready? Oh, yeah. Attack! <gasps> oh, Mikey, I don't get it. Hmm. What kind of gun is that? Uh, well, by the looks of it, it's a portal gun. Is it weird that I want to go in there? Yeah, JJ, it's weird. But Mikey... But I want to do the same thing you do. Oh. So let's do it. Uh, go, JJ. Mikey, wait. Oh, what if it's dangerous? I didn't think of that at all. Ah, where am I? Uh, where's Mikey? Look out, Mikey's coming. Oh, why'd you come out after me? Wow, JJ. It's a pretty weird place. Hmm. I'm not comfortable here. Okay, JJ, let's explore around here a bit. Yeah, I'd hate to miss this opportunity. And then we'll go straight home. Hmm, <clears throat> okay. Run, huh, run. You guys are in the wrong place. Because this place is going to be nothing but misery. I'll take care of that. The longer you stay here, huh, the worse it gets for you. I will take over your house and destroy everything you all hold dear. Whoa, ha, ha. Okay, Mikey. I'm getting a little tired of looking around already. 
Let me go dig up some ore. Uh, JJ, where did you even get the idea that there might be ores here? I'm just sure of it. Oh, hmm. If you're scared, you'd better wait for me here. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Okay, JJ. I'll dig up a mountain of ore. JJ, take care of yourself and be sure to get back out there soon. Sure, Mikey. Before you know it, I'll be back here. Now it's time to explore this gravel-deserted place. These mountains are huge. Oh, hmm. This is about to be the most boring wait time of my life. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Stop. What? Don't worry. I'll just get rid of your brother and your whole family. Wait, who are you? You don't need to know that. But I'll tell you anyway. Mm. I'm you. What? Bye-bye. I almost feel sorry for you. Because thanks to you, I can get out into your world and do evil. <laughs> and no one will even realize the change because I could be you. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I found it. I was able to find some unusual ore. I can already imagine Mikey's surprised face when he sees these jewels I dug up here. Mikey, listen, I want to show you, uh, Mikey? Oh, you're back, my brother, JJ. Uh... I've been waiting for you for so long. I'm glad you made it back. Mikey, you're acting weird. Did you find something in those mountains of gravel? Uh... Because I was bored to death when you weren't here. Yes, it's very difficult to walk around here. How boring it was. You must be tired. If you're done exploring this place, let's hurry back home. Okay, look what I found, by the way. This is really cool stuff, JJ. Uh... Uh, but I'm really tired. Let's go home. Uh, okay. I don't know what's wrong with Mikey, but okay. Oh, this place looks quite familiar. Mikey, do you recognize this place? Of course I recognize this place. It's our home. Oh, uh, what? This huge castle, our home. Yay! Wow, marvelous. Yeah, I can't believe it myself. Wow, Mikey. It's pretty dark already. I hope our parents aren't too worried about oh, us. Oh, well, it still feels like it's not my house at all. Is that weird? Mm, interesting, interesting. You don't get that feeling? No, brother. I don't smell anything. I'll kill you. Wait, what? Well, Are you sure you're feeling okay? What's up? Mikey, I just heard you say something awful. No, I didn't say anything like that. You must have imagined it. Hmm. Let's not wait for our parents to argue and go inside. Uh, okay. But Mikey, I'm begging you, please don't play me like that again. Sure, bro. Oh my god, I don't remember anything here. Uh, mom and dad, hi. He had a huge head of, uh, oh, my little boys came home from a walk. Yeah. We walked here and there. It was a bit boring. Uh, wow, you must be tired. Wow, look at the time. Oh. It's so late. It's past your bedtime. I didn't realize it was getting dark. Oh, hmm. Huh. It's okay. You're here. It's okay. Yes, so go to bed quietly. Good night. All right, Mikey. Let's go to bed, huh? Yes, I'm very tired. Really, let's go. We, we wish, wish you a, a good night. night. Your room is upstairs. Oh, my God. Mikey, did our parents seem weird to you? I mean, we see them so loving and caring for us every day. That's true, but Mikey... Mikey. It's okay, bro. I, for one, have absolutely no recollection of our rooms being on the second floor of such a mansion. JJ, it's always been this way, and if you don't stop pissing me off, your death will come sooner. What? Uh, I mean, I'll hug you in your sleep. What did you say? What? What's wrong? Don't try to distract me, Mikey. Why are you doing this? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Huh, what? But in case you forgot, this is my room, <clears throat> and your room is across the hall, so I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, sleep well, brother. See you tomorrow. Hmm, that was really weird. So weird that I don't understand why he calls me brother and not by my first name. Hmm, I don't understand anything. What is this house? Let it all just be a dream and I'll wake up now. Hee hee hee. Good night to those who are asleep, for the good will not last long. <laughs> There's no one on the right, no one on the left. Who will be my victim from the beginning? <laughs> this series is so interesting. We've been watching this for three hours. So what? Are you sure this is interesting? Yes, of course. I want to watch something else on TV already. <laughs> A painful and horrible death awaits you. You haven't noticed me yet, you fools. But don't worry, your death is incredibly close. <laughs> so what are we going to watch? Let's watch SpongeBob. Not this. I'm a fan. Oh, this cartoon is awful, honey. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no, it's not a dream, it's real! Which is bad because then that evil part of Mikey is real too. Oh no, his room door is open, did he really go for a walk? I don't like this at all! He's really not in his room! I heard someone screaming, it must have been my mom! I have to check what's going on! I'm still not a- uh, oh my god, what was that? They're having some kind of electrical problem! This house is really huge! Uh, there's no one here and there's no one in the kitchen! Hmm, who was yelling then? Oh, mom and dad are fine! Uh, or are they not? Your knuckleheads need to bring me that boy. I want to deal with him personally. Hey, you. Oh, look who I see, huh? Kid? Come to us. We won't hurt you. What have you done to my family? This is your family, little brother. We love you. We will destroy you. No, you're not my real family. What? This is some kind of horror. Oh, my God. No. Ah. I must get out of this house soon and call for help. Hurry up. Hurry up. Ah. How did you all get here? You can't run away from us here. Oh, no. If it's all a joke, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, my God. This is no joke. They've really all gone crazy. I gotta get out of here. Ah. 
Stop! Run, 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 brother! Because we like to catch up. Let's play again, shall we? Stop! You'll never get out of this house, because everything here is subject to my will. Wait, let's try to make a deal. Hee hee hee. Bye! Holy turtles! JJ! Uh, where am I? Oh, right, I got knocked out by that evil copy of me. This must be his lair! I hope JJ realized that this phony is not me. And I'll be found soon. Our beautiful girl is awake. Uh... Wake up already. I'm tired of waiting. Oh, my God. Now it's time to do something terrible. Do it. He's not going to be one of us. He can't even see where he's going. Wait, don't come near me. <laughs> and where am I going? Uh, I'm going to the cliff. Daddy. You're annoying me. Oh, no. I decided to get rid of you rather than make you my puppet. Be thankful. Mikey, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. You're going to burn. Mikey, we're brothers. How can you do this to your brother? Very simple. I'm not your brother. Finish him. Oh, my God. Is this really the end of me? I don't want to die with dignity. Please have mercy. Bye-bye. No. Ah, God help me. Oh, what is it? Uh, am I alive? Uh, if this is death, it's a very strange one. Hmm, it's a lab. JJ. Wait, what? Mikey, is that really you? JJ, I've been locked in here by some evil doppelganger. Hmm. I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I've been sitting here a long time. Mikey, how do I open this, uh, prison? Well... I haven't actually looked for a way out of here yet. You need to find it. But you could try pressing this button on the floor to open the door. Oh, there really was a button here all along. Okay, Mikey, come out. JJ, why did you believe me? Because you call me by my name and that weirdo didn't call me that. Huh, so it turns out we were able to outplay him. Yeah. JJ, look. Huh, what? We're in his personal base, in his lab. Uh. So let's have some fun and break his equipment here. Mikey, no, wait, there's something you don't know. Stop. Our parents are under his control. Oh, hmm, you could have just told me about it instead of hitting me. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, you just started pushing buttons right away, so I flared up. Okay, it happens, JJ. Let's go see what's in here. Let's go. I didn't get a chance to push the brightly colored buttons. Oh, look. He has spacesuits at his disposal. That's cool, but look what's behind you. <clears throat> You'd be surprised. Oh, my God. I've never seen a gun like that. What about you, Mikey? Me too. Let's arm ourselves just in case. Yes, I agree. It's going to be a brutal battle. He can't beat us. Uh, We've got some pretty cool weapons now. What if he has guns like that, too? You're ruining the brutality of the whole moment, JJ. Mikey, I'm just afraid of losing. We just gotta win, JJ. Oh, no. Stop whining. It's gonna be a real battle. Okay, we should be able to handle it because we have each other. Exactly. Let's be careful and enter the next room. Uh, okay. Mm. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, this is the way out, Mikey. Great, we can get out of here. Let's get going soon. We'll have to figure out how to help our parents. All right, let's go. We'll come up with some plan on the way. Yeah, I wonder where they are now. Ah! JJ, what's wrong? What happened, little brother? Look! <gasps> Did I really scare that fake boy? Am I that scary? You are the scariest, sir. Hurry up and destroy these fakes. I was just about to do that. Whoa, ha, ha. Mikey, is it or is it not time for us to brutally fight. You won't do anything to me. JJ, it's time. Attack! Oh, that was so loud. JJ, well done. That was a good shot. Cool! Mom, Dad, are you okay? Where are we? Mommy and Daddy. I don't know what it is, but we're fine. We were fighting an evil version of Mikey. Yes, it was a brutal battle. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Where are we? You're big young men, boys. Daddy, we're at evil Mikey's base. It's in another dimension. This is just kind of crazy. Yeah, I think so, too. JJ just went bang with a cannon and evil Mikey was gone. Yeah, I had a little fight with him at some mansion before that, too. I wasn't there. I can't say anything. Viewers, do you have any guesses as to what dimension we were hmm. in? Interesting, interesting. Write your guesses in the comments. Love you all. Bye-bye. I used to work the day away. I figured I could maybe pave away. No, it's easy to count the days till I fade away. But you know I always find my way to turn a bad look in the field. It's something solid I'm on target for a major play. Used to waste the day away. She hit me to say I'm on a mind, but my commitment to the game got me OT till I OD and then I